I'm Victoria Hollingsworth. Our first house today is one with a bit of a twist. This revolutionary home is located in the USA in the state of New York. Just 80 miles from the hustle and bustle of Manhattan is the rural haven of New Paltz. What an incredible setting. This home is set in the middle of these 24 acres of forest. So peaceful. And just take a look at the house itself. It's kind of like a spaceship's landed right in the middle of the forest. Extraterrestrial it's not, but exceptional it most certainly is. A beautifully crafted wooden dome with lots of curvaceous, clever and very curious living space. This rounded residence is the weekend retreat of the Venkat family who live in New York. Meet mum Veronique and her five-year-old son Rohan. So, is it a case of home sweet dome? Hello. Let's find out. Hello. Oh, Hi. this is Rohan. Hi, Rohan. What's that? <laughs> Present of some eyes. There you go. You can have that back. <laughs> Welcome to the dome. Thank you. This 40-ton wooden dome contains over 3,000 square feet of living area, which adds up to a very spacious three-bedroom home arranged over two levels. It really is so much bigger inside, isn't it, than you would expect? Absolutely. It comes as a surprise when you step in at first. It has this cathedral feel. Like Almost cathedral-like, yeah. Absolutely. Believe it or not, this dynamic dome started life in a crate delivered all the way from France. It took three months to lay the foundations and assemble this super modern home. Total cost for the build was around 500,000 plus 250 grand for the land. Because of its unique rounded shape, there's much more space for your money than a regular square house. And when it came to interiors, Veronique certainly made the most of every inch. Now, this shell works as a pretty good illustration of what Veronique was trying to achieve with this house. So it's very rounded on the outside, but she wanted to carry on that organic feel on the inside. So with the interiors, you've got a really good sort of natural flow through the house, even with this custom-built staircase, which just sweeps to the upper level. Each room simply flows into the next. From the main living space, you move straight through into the master bedroom. Ooh, lovely bedroom. It's very, uh, very zen, very relaxing in here. Yes, absolutely. It's part of the organic shape. I wanted everything to be integrated. My eyes drawn to this curvy bookcase. No straight lines at all in this house. Can't be. Now let me take you to the bathroom. Your bathroom is huge. It's, it's massive, isn't it? I love all the limestone. And I particularly like this shower, which is a little bit exposed, isn't it? But I suppose you've only got the trees looking in. Yeah. Well, Too many people watch you, I don't suppose. <laughs> it's a rather safe experience. Nobody's watching, just deers and squirrels. So far, so serene. But just next door to Mum's bathroom, things are a little more on the wild side in son Rohan's room. I thought there was a little boy in here somewhere, but I can't see one anywhere. <laughs> you are. No. <laughs> I like your bedroom. What do you think of the house? It's boring in a square house. Life's better round, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I agree. Back in the main living area, that wonderful curvaceous staircase leads up to the second level, where there's a library and office for Veronique and her husband. Plus space for a guest bedroom. With no straight lines in sight, this home is certainly far from conventional, and I definitely think I'm coming round to the idea of dome-shaped living. Step outside and you really get a sense of the totally extreme shape of this home. Looking at it from down here, it does look a bit like a spinning top. It's remarkable to see how little of it looks like it's actually on the ground. It's absolutely one of the uh, huge, uh, you know, strengths of this house, and um, it makes it totally resistant to uh, earthquake. The shape also makes it very resistant to hurricanes, very strong winds. So this dome home can withstand earthquakes of up to eight on the Richter scale. And because of its aerodynamic shape, it can also resist 150 mile an hour winds. And in case you thought life stands still out here in the countryside, check this out. 
Now, remote controls in most households are responsible for changing the channel on the television. But here, at the push of a button, you can rotate the house so you can change your scenery. However, due to the heavy snowfall, all that snow is blocking the house from turning. But fast forward to spring and take a look at this. Five minutes is all it takes to complete a 150 degree rotation. The whole thing is driven by a five grand half horsepower electric engine. That's just a quarter of the energy it takes to run your average vacuum cleaner. And it's not just about aesthetics. There are some ecological and economical advantages to setting your house spinning. Well, actually, um, what this is all about is really to take advantage as much as possible of solar passive energy. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, you see four main... Um, Huge bays, windows. Yeah, yeah, facing the sun mm -hmm. in winter so that we take as much as possible advantage of the heat. That all adds up to a massive 35% saving on energy bills. And another thing. Well, the house might not rotate in this weather, but you can see that it fares pretty well with all this snow because the shape of the roof, it just falls straight off it. And also, the wood that this roof is made of is cedar wood, which doesn't rot. And the other good thing about this house is that it's raised off the ground, so there's virtually no humidity. So it really just protects itself. Well, there you have it. A beautiful home that's also cheap and eco-friendly to run. So if you're in a spin about which house to choose, a rotating dome home might be just the one for you.